Hey folks, T. Witty here. The question is, am I about to subject myself to more Legacy of Ball combat? The answer, of course, is yes. I mean, what else could I do? Mm -hmm. uh, the next quest we want to try and complete is Mirianne's Husband. Darling. This one should be easier than the Half Ogres. Um, even, we're not appreciably stronger than when we fought um, Gnarl and Heartooth. But the thing about Ogreons is they've got a much lower... Uh, and by lower I mean worse. <laughs> Compared to... Uh, I can't remember. I think I actually can't get through here. I hope I'm wrong, because the house I need to get to is directly north of the smithy. Oh good, I can't get through there. Uh, we're going to fight a couple of Ogreons, which is what Gnarl and Heartooth were. Yeah, Miriam, that's the one. That's your desire. Salutations. My husband had to make a sudden business trip to Am, and I'm so worried for him. Marianne, he always said. Marianne, who knows the road better than old Row? But the highways just aren't as safe as they once were, and there hasn't been a messenger from Am here in months. Could you keep your eyes open along the southern roads and let me know if you find anything? Marianne's husband. I was moved by the pleas of Marianne of Beragost today. Her husband, Row, had to make a trip south to Am, and she is understandably worried for his safety. I have sworn to keep my eyes open for any news of relevance I might encounter in my journeys down that road. So the Ogreons hit hard, but compared to the half-ogres we had to deal with last time, their armor class is shitty. So we should... Operative word is always should have an easier time. But anyway, let me just find the exact location. Of these guys, thirty nine hundred, fifteen hundred. So if that's your desire, they're just down the road, Baragos to the north, and this is the right area. There's the first one. Everybody back, because I need to make sure I Not a get them one at a time. Alright, let's have Dine here blind. Let's have Jahira Doom. Let's have Safana Polymorph. Hmm? And let's have Protag Berserker Rage. Berserk. And of course it's saved. Protag, you hold aggro. Time push. Oh, snap! A bona fide critical hit. It saved again. I'm going to have Jahira go ahead and cast Bless. I'm gonna go ahead and get Safana and Khalid involved. Did you hear a cast bless? It's finally blinded. Alright, good. We should be okay now. Wow, I'm actually damaging these guys. It's not miserable. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank goodness. That is... that's blessed very much. Which is to be expected, but...
Okay. Time for a cure. Or two. Take a break and use his special cure on himself as well. Not well at all. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Nature servant awaits. Come on. Been near death for three hits. If it kills me, I'm gonna be mad. Because we were way ahead most of this fight. I think it somehow got its sight back because suddenly a 19 isn't enough to hit it. Got it. All right, good. No less of course, darling. What have we here? A silver necklace. All right. Naturally, we'll rest. It will be done. We'll bait the next one. Here a doom. Dying here blind. Savannah yes, polymorph. No, 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 no. I said polymorph. Protag. Rage up. Khalid, start shooting. Oh, my heart's really not in this. Skippy, you get in there and hold aggro. And it saved! It's... Nothing can ever just be easy, can it? Alright, the doom went off, so now let's bless. That time it's blinded. Okay. Get Safana in there too. Yes, oh omnipotent! Bless just went off too. It's nice actually getting criticals. <laughs> there goes Blast. Zerk's over. Did you hear a heal pro tag? Because it's suddenly chaining together hits. More, more, 
What the fuck? You... What the fuck? Seriously, what the hell happened? Just... All of a sudden, it hit me like five times in a row. Jeez. Fucking piece of shit. Come on. Alright. That was ridiculous. How that ended. He's near death, and so just out of the blue, he chains together five hits. Oh, including three in the span it takes Jahira to cast one Cure Light Wounds. And of course it saves! Of course it saves on the first blindness. Because why the hell would anything ever just work for me? There. Alright, it's blind at that time at least. I have to get so many hits for anything to happen. Something more off. I'm not sure if it's Doom or Blindness, but I'll recast Blind. And we gotta cure Skippy again. Yep. Do it again. Critical hit, six damage. You come on. Why? Why did the spell fail? I don't understand. Special abilities are never supposed to fucking fail like that. It doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna die again. One more hit. And I don't think I'm not convinced these. is going on we get close to killing him and he just it starts chaining hits together no matter like every fucking time it's bonkers uh, can I help you First cast did the blinding, so that's good. Bless the party. There we go. Alright, did you hear it? Get in there. Hmm. 
There we go. That's more like it. I'll do anything, of course, Dad. Here we go. A scroll. This is what we're after. My dearest Marianne, the road has been difficult, but I have arrived safely here in Am. I think it would be wisest if I returned by sea, however, perhaps sometime after the first snows have fallen. I trust this letter reaches you. The halfling I hired to carry it struck me as an honest enough chap. Always and forever, Roe. Alright. Alright, back to Baragost to turn in this quest. That wasn't as painful. If that's your desire. Alright. Come on, everybody. Back to Marianne. If I can, there we go. Desire. Oh, thank you for such good tidings. Please, let me give you this ring to keep you safe in your travels. Alright. I have completed the task that a nameless halfling messenger, now dead and mourned, started deep in the heart of Om. Marianne has received her husband's letter by my hand, and I am glad to hear that it bears good tidings of his safety. I am humbled by her offer of a simple ring to keep me safe. Be it magic or superstition, I know not, but I will wear it, at least to remember her by. <coughs> Excuse me. With pleasure. So it's just, it's another ring of protection plus one. I will probably, well, I'll, I'll make a choice about who to put it on when I see whose armor class it can actually benefit. But for now, we're going to pick up another quest. Zerlong's Missing Boots. Zerlong is in the Burning Wizard. Right here. Uh, there may be... I can't remember. There might be an assassination attempt in here, but I don't think so. No, there's not. Zerlong is gonna steal a little bit of gold from us, but With it's alright. He'll he'll give it back when we finish the quest. I wish I had my old tobacco pipe. What is the thief to do, huh? You invest in some boots of stealth, you set up shop in the Badlands to the south of Baragost, and then wham! Along comes a tribe of hobgoblins and they tear the boots from right off your feet. Damn blasted bullies is what they are, and I'll pay a hundred gold to whoever can get them back to me, I will. Oh look, it's Dritzt Doerden. Zerlong's missing boots. He pickpocketed 15 gold. A pesky thief named Zerlong has been pickpocketing me every time I try to get a word in edgewise, but I'd rather not cause a scene. He did mention losing some boots to hobgoblins in the Badlands south of the city. I get the sense that returning those boots to him may be the only way to make peace and have my money returned. Zerlong can be found at the Burning Wizard Tavern in Baragost. Alright, back to the same map. Before I do that, we will go to the, uh... Go to the temple to get our new ring identified. Then, you know, we'll... Make a decision on who to, uh... Who to let carry it. Of course, darling. This is just curious. I know Protag is... 
Protag was was the closest to leveling. Oh. Alright. Very close. With pleasure. Yep. Okay, so. Protag's got one. I'm gonna put it on Safana for now. Because I actually have her doing With regular play. melee. Okay, so the hobgoblins we're looking for on the south edge of that map, so in order to just of course, fudge the journey a little bit, to warp myself to the south edge right here. Yeah, so the, the hobgoblins we're looking for are a little northwest of here. We should be able to find a cave, and the relevant hobgoblins are just south of it. This is probably them, actually. So, we pulled one. Hopefully... Hopefully I can nail him without too much trouble. We'll find out. Rolled a 20 to save, because of course he did. Well, I can have Jahira bless. I can get Safana involved now. Alright, that time he got blinded. Oh, fuck you! You can't pour it in an elite from the bottom of the map. Absolutely not. Ridiculous. I think this is a. This might be a random group anyway. It's sure acting like it. I want to make sure these are the right ones before I waste time killing them. I'm getting the feeling they might actually not be. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're not. Bub snicked. No, I need to get I need to get further west. Those aren't the right ones. That was so cheesy. Spawning in an elite the elites have poisonous arrows. That was just a random spawn directly underneath me. These, I think, are the right ones. I want to see. I'm trying to see. I'm just trying to see if I can find the cave that would. Alright, this is the right group. So I gotta focus on pulling them one at a time. Protax 4. Everyone retreat. If that's your desire, not a problem. Yes, D. 
Of course, darling. Not a problem. All right. Here we go. Successfully blinded the hobgoblin. Nature servant away. Your skippy holds aggro. Doom or blindness ending, but that's why I hold so many blindness charges. Alright, it's definitely blind. I just can't hit it to save my life. I mean, truly. Can't actually crit these guys. That's a pain in my ass. Those are the rules, I guess. Leads changing quivers, that's fine. Oh, never mind, that was that was Savannah. Just need to re polymorph. Oh gosh. There. No! 
Hey, hey! That might be the very first enemy I've chunked. With pleasure. Star Diopside Gem. I think that's new. Star Diopside is the most prized form of a hard, durable gemstone that is rarely found in attractive colors. It is usually too dark for beauty. However, mountain and stream bed pebble crystals of a pale green hue make attractive stones such as diopside. When a gem is found that is darker green, it can be cut in such a fashion so as to produce four or six rayed stars. Alright. That's one down. I think three to go. If that's your desire. You're next. Yes, dear. Nature's servant awaits. Saved. Of course. Protag is managing to hold aggro, I don't have to worry too much. And there goes Bless. We got him badly injured while Bless was still up. That's not bad. And there's the end of the Berserk State. I don't know if that's doom or blindness ending, but I will cast blindness again. Just so I can be have peace of mind. Same as the first two. Forward march. Is that called? Nature servant awaits. Yes. I 
Stand ready. Of course it's saved. That time it blinded. Bless is off, so now Jahira can start attacking as well. Ay, 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 ay. Have you switch switch targets, buddy? You gotta stay on Skippy. I gotta admit, I really do not love seeing twenty on an attack roll and less than five damage come out of it. You gotta quit switching targets, dude. I don't get it. It's bothering me, I'll tell you that. Good God! He switches every 10 seconds. Stay on the tank, you douchebag. Protag use his too. <laughs> Come on, y'all, he's near death. Get another good hit. There we go. Chunked him. That's the stuff. Of course, Doc. And there's what we're after. Sir Long's Boots yes, of Stealth. Dear. I don't know about you, but fighting the fourth one kind of seems like a waste of time if we've got what we came for. <laughs> so, let's head back to Baragast. Of course, it's of the course middle of the that. night, so I can't just buy arrows. Even though I fucking well ought to be able to. Oh shit, hold on. Oh well, we'll just rest With at the end. Pleasure. It'll cost a whopping single gold. We'll be alright. Alright, we're at 40 minutes. Okay. 
if that's your desire. You're a godsend. Uh, here's all that gold I took from you. I may be a kleptomaniac, but at least I'm an honorable one, right? And here's a hundred gold pieces for your help, too. Consider it a down payment on your pocket. Oh, sweet! Okay. <laughs> Things are about to get a lot better. Zerlong's missing boots. Well, Zerlong is making progress in our ongoing joint therapy sessions. He has confessed his kleptomaniac tendencies and has even gone so far as to return the gold that he has stolen from me thus far. Most surprising, however, has been his offer of 100 GP above and beyond what was actually due. Sadly, he referred to it as a down payment on my pocket. Nevertheless, with time, I still hold out hope that he might be cured. Okay. So, let's level up Skippy. I get a new proficiency slot. Let me, uh, give me a second. I gotta see, uh... Flail Morningstar and Two Weapon Fighting are both good. Um, so let's see. I can either reduce the penalty in the offhand to minus two, or... I can add plus three to hit, plus three to damage. An extra half attack around. That's more useful. So we'll do we'll do this one first. So my saving throws are dropping by one. I think that's everything. That's pretty good. I'll have another 15 HP on top of that. Uh, Safana is the more important one. We get to give her a proficiency slot. She can't really take any more than one, so I'll, I'll put it in sling. It doesn't really matter, but what does matter is we're going to raise pickpockets to 45. Now let's rest. Not a problem. So we've got... With this done, we're going to go power up big time. <laughs> And that's right here in Baragost. And when we're done, if that's um, your desire. we have two more side quests to do, and then I'm actually ready to go to the Nashkel Mines. You'll see. You'll see what the important bit is. We're gonna go upstairs in Feldeposts in. If Hold that's on. your desire. Before of I do that, we should go visit the bartender. I don't I was gonna say I, I don't think he sells arrows, which is a little on the annoying side, but it's alright. Sell those. Get a little gold. Nobody else is even carrying anything, right? Right. Okay, good. Now we'll head upstairs. Now I need to pass Shahira's Gauntlets of Dexterity temporarily to Safana. So that extra point in dexterity will boost her pickpocket score to, if I can find it, by five, up to 50, which is the minimum yes, threshold. Of course, darling. 
to pickpocket Algernon's cloak. There it is. With pleasure. Ordinarily, this you always get this item and you always put it on the face of your party anyway. But uh, it has a special ability that is just going to be absolutely vital to getting through some of our next irritating of course, encounters God. in Legacy of Ball. It has, as an item ability, you can charm a single enemy to fight for you. So we can turn the insane power of our enemies against them. Alright, the Gauntlets of Dexterity will go back to Jahira now. We will speak to of course, darling. our man here. I will have him identify. At Song of the Morning. Oh, that's the name of the temple, okay. Algernon's cloak is imbued with magical properties such that the wearer will seem to shine with an inner glow. Statistics. Equipped abilities, charisma plus two, charge abilities, charm creature, save versus breath at minus one negates, range 40 feet, duration 12 hours, area of effect one creature. Weight three, not usable by wizard slayer. So, the charm creature is just, it's huge. No other way to slice it. We're gonna hold on to Relayer's mistake. I'm not gonna send it on to anyone else just yet. No, actually. I wonder if I put it on Dinah here, if she could actually do anything. Because, uh, Safana's gonna keep Algernon's cloak on. As you can see, for, at the moment, it puts her at a whopping 19 charisma. Let me see how Khalid's doing. He's almost out of ammo. I need nine stacks of arrows. With pleasure. We can get easily enough here at the Yield Thunderhammer Smithy. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. So Khalid can re-up. And now we're going to go into the red sheath. Because there's a, one, of the, one of the last two side quests I want to do before the Nashkel Mine starts in there. I've got about ten minutes. Uh, we're going to get attacked by a dwarf fighter named Carlat. He's by himself, he's not a caster, so... You're at the end of your rope, I'll wager. The hope is that our usual strategy will work. I could charm him, but <coughs> it wouldn't really do much good. So he's coming at Protag anyway. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna put a. I have to find a carry Relair's mistake because in a combat situation like this. That's still what I want her using. Nature servant away. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wager. Not that it's anything personal, you understand. 
but I'm afraid your time on this here ball of mud is just about done. Why are you doing this? I've done nothing to you. Whatever you're being paid, I'll double it. I hope you've the will to back up those words. Aye, that I do. The will and the way. Should we get to business then? Hmm? Alright. Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Can I help you? Alright, blinded. Perfect. Everyone else is doing what they should be. Oof. That extra proficiency in flails and morning stars is helping out a lot. Can already see it. Critical hit broke my weapon. Fuck you, you piece of shit. With pleasure. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wager. That little feature in this game is so fucking annoying, I can't stand it. Yes, dear. <laughs> uh, it's alright. I don't think this one is too bad. Hold on. No, 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 no. Damn it. I completely forgot. Swap them out. Oh, there you go. Bonafide critical hit. It did 32 damage. And it broke my weapon. It's just such a massive fuck you. I can hardly stand it. Oh, I wasn't watching. Did he? No, he saved. He is not blinded. But you'll notice that extra proficiency slot, um, I'm hitting him even without him blinded. That would not have happened before that third level up. And now he's blinded. Perfect.
Ha <laughs> ha, fuck you, Carlat. What? How? No, seriously, what? What the actual fuck was that? Oh, it was my Berserk State ending. I was like, he was dead, what the hell? Chainmail, Battle Axe, Medium Shield. None of that's particularly useful, but we can read this note. Bounty Notice. Be it known to all those of evil intent that a bounty has been placed upon the head of Skippy, the foster child of Gorion. Last seen in the area of Candlekeep, this person is to be killed in quick order. This offer has been extended to all appropriate guilds. Those returning with proof of the deed shall receive no less than 350 coins of gold. As always, any that reveal these plans to the forces of law shall join the target in their fate. I'll okay. Do anything. Alright, so let's talk to Purdue, which is going to start a quest. Hello. You wouldn't have happened to see a big, loudish guy with a dog's head on him around here, have you? A dog's head? I uh, can't say that I have. Who's asking? One, a dog's head? You heard me. A dog's head. And breath that could peel paint, too. Oh, a warg. Oh, a gibberling. Uh, heh, that's a good one, kiddo. Bye now. Oh, a knoll. Yeah, a knoll. There's one hole. There's one old up in the hills due west of here, close to the high hedge. Damn thieving ball of fur stole my short sword two days back. Never liked them myself. How much would that blade be worth to a runty guy like you? A knoll did that? How about I uh, just go down to the store and buy you a new one? My condolences, little guy. Hope things pick up for you. Number one. Yeah, yeah. Lay off the short guy jokes. They're older than your grandmother's uncle. The damn blade ain't worth a nothing. It's a pride thing. I'll give you 50 gold pieces if you wipe his arse with it. For 50 gold, that knoll can wipe his own arse. Hey, did you hear the one about the halfling who climbed into the ale keg to lick up the last drop? You've got yourself a deal. Yeah, yeah. Feeling somewhat sheepish after treating him so poorly, I have agreed to retrieve the sword of poor Purdue the Halfling from a band of gnolls, apparently lurking in the plains west of Baragost, close to the High Hedge. Alright, so... Let's rest to recover from that last fight. I should make sure that Safana always has Algernon's cloak on unless we're actively in combat. Show me what you've got. Peasant room will be fine. Okay, awesome. Well, that was excellent progress. Algernon's cloak, it, it's no good against sentient human enemies like the guy we just fought, but when we're fighting critters of any kind, it will allow us to charm one of them and have their power on our side, which is, it, it's a massive game changer. You'll see. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this installment of Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, I hope you'll click that like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, come join my Discord, join the conversation, I'd appreciate it. I'm pretty active in there, uh, less so YouTube comments, although I'm trying to get better at that. If you want to support what I do here, uh, the link to my Patreon is in the description as well. Finally, if you're interested in live interaction, seeing me play different games, uh, follow me over at twitch.tv slash 79 I stream over there on weekends, I'll be streaming some... Talos Principle and uh, maybe some Dark Souls this coming weekend. Uh, and lastly, uh, and, and don't worry if you miss live streams, uh, of course, all of the VODs make their way over here uh, to the YouTube channel. But regardless, I really do appreciate your time and attention. I'm grateful to you for watching. Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, wherever you are, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Take